Hi, I'm Scott Ostrander, and today I'll be showing you how to play Dungeon Dwellers, the card game. In Dungeon Dwellers, players get to choose one of four characters. We have the Thief, the Warrior, the Mage, and the Priest. Each character has their own ability and fighting style. Each character has their own ability. They also have a melee attack, a ranged attack, and a starting item. On the bottom right, it shows how much energy it takes to power an ability. The icons on the left represent defenses. We have melee, ranged, and special. To start the game, the player first turns over a room card. This card contains traps or possibly game modifiers. Next, they will select a monster card and turn that one over. On the monster card, up in the right hand corner, we have the health of the monster or number of points it takes to kill it. On the left side, we have the damage that the monster will do, and in the bottom is a text box that will contain modifiers for that monster. After the monster is turned over, we'll then place down cards equal to the health of the monster. The character will now attack the monster either using the melee attack or range attack. Since our fighter does 4 points of damage using its melee, we're going to take 4 points off the monster and place that in front of the character. After the character is finished, the monster will then attack back. The monster has two points of melee attack that it will attack the fighter with. Since the fighter has a point of defense against those types of attack, it will only do one point of damage on the fighter. We will now reduce his hit points down to nine. Once the other players go, it comes back to our fighter. He's going to attack again using melee against the skeleton. We're going to take four points of damage from his longsword to the monster, and we're going to collect those cards and put it in his pile. At this point, Skeleton only has four wounds left. At this time, the fighter can elect to use his energy cards. Each player starts with 30 cards at the beginning of the game. To use the energy card, you can turn over one card, and that will cause one extra point of damage on the monster. If you discard three more, we can kill the monster which only has three points left. At this point, the skeleton still gets attacked back. You can think of it as the skeleton and the fighter are hitting each other simultaneously. So the, the skeleton will then attack back using its two points to attack our fighter. Again, the fighter will block it for one point and only take one point of damage. At this point, we could also use our energy cards to avoid taking that damage from our hit points. So what we'll do is take another energy card and discard that so we don't have to take any damage from our hit points. Once the monster is defeated, we take that card and we'll put that next to our warrior. Now we'll have a treasure phase. During the treasure phase, you can take the cards collected from the monster's wounds, and these are now your experience. For every five points you turn in, you can take either the top card from your energy deck and put that into play, and now it's our treasure. For this card, we've got an ability, Veteran Attack. So anytime I want to use this card, I can expend one energy from my energy deck to activate it. Also, you could turn in your cards and get a gold card. This gold card will help you win the game. The person at the end of the game who has the most gold will be the winner. This will be kept face down by the player so the other players don't know how much gold you have. Play is continued until all the monsters are destroyed in that level. Once this happens, we'll then turn over a new room card and follow the instructions provided. We'll then take the next level of monsters and we'll put them out. Characters will then continue in order, turning over monsters, attacking them, and collecting the experience points. Once we finish all the levels, we have the final boss monster. This will be the last monster that the heroes face. To win the game, players must all survive the boss fight. If they all survive, 
Players will then count up all the gold that they have, and the player with the most gold will win the game. If one of the players doesn't survive the boss fight, then everybody loses the game. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out our Kickstarter program.